Hello, people. It's Poet, and I'm back in the aquatic reptile world. Now, when we left off, I was going to finish some of this. Well, actually, when we left off, I defeated Anu. Yeah, brag, brag. But I'm down here now with the aquatic marine life. And our Tylosaur is kind of swimming sort of in circles. I don't know what he's really trying to do. Um, I think he's just kind of trying to pathfind to, like, where's the nearest thing that I can eat. Um, so I wanted to try to feed him today. I was going to get some Nautilus and just plant all these Nautilus in there and see if he'd eat them. Uh, Leopleridon, he's, he's just doing his thing. He bounces around, floats around a lot. I should almost... I don't know if that block, those blocks up there, if he can, like, almost accidentally bounce out. So I'm going to maybe remove those. I removed a little bit up here. I'll show you guys. I was up here. I removed some of the blocks up here. My shovel's about to die, though. And I was just kind of walking along, removing some of the blocks. But I should remove all these, too, just in case. I don't know what can happen, but I don't want anything to happen. It just looks like he's getting too close for comfort. So... There we go. Everything seems to be okay. And what I was doing... I almost need to like... I need to get a whole bunch of dirt. Like all the dirt in the world. And just completely cover this whole ravine would be kind of nice. Or... Maybe build into it somehow. This could be like a roller coaster attraction all through... Here, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. That might be cool. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? A roller coaster? Okay, so picture this. This is just the thought that I just had. It's like you get into the roller coaster up here somewhere, like where that tree is or, or something. And you get into the roller coaster and it takes you... And it, get, it gets inside of the ravine. So it comes into the ravine. Fast through the ravine and then it comes down. Winds through the ravine. Winds through, winds through, winds through. And then it goes up, up, up. Maybe through the water or something. And then around again. I don't know. Hmm. That would be kind of cool. It would make use of this. A lot of dodos down there. It would make use of this area. Be kind of nice. But anyway, what I was working on today was just a little bit of digging here. Whoopsie. <laughs> Oh, I should have used my other sword. Didn't think about that. Um, I've been working on this today because I want to have another space available. I don't know when the next aquatic creature will be brought to me kind of thing. Like when I'll get one. So I just wanted the space to be available. So I'm starting to dig. It's not done. I'm going to go back a lot further. Like probably... I don't know. What's what's far enough? Mm, even further than that, maybe. Like up to here? Yeah. Like up to there. Get some iron too while I'm, while I'm here. Ooh. Iron, iron, iron. Look at all this iron. I can't pick any of it up because I'm just full up with stuff. Don't need that much flint. So there we go. Solutions. I must have a stack of... No, I don't. Take the coal. Okay. So I'm working on that. I, I wanted to work on this too. I think that this is deep enough. Like, I don't think I'm going to get any deeper than that. I just need glass, and I'm going to go see if I have any glass. And if I do, then maybe I can at least fill that with water today. Doop -doop 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 -doop. Let's go check the Dilophosaurs. They're all in a little group. They're all in a little group hanging out. Okay. And I wanted to build an enclosure today, too. So I don't know if I'm going to be building a lot. 
This might be one of those building episodes that some people don't like, but that I do like. Uh, I got all this, all this cobblestone here, and I got some that I just cooked up too. Um, iron goes over here for now. These slabs, I ripped up some of the floor, and you're gonna see that in a little bit too. Sand, glass. I do have enough glass to finish that enclosure. So I will do that. Which means I need buckets. Where do I have buckets? Bucket. Bucket. There we go. Um, oh yeah. So this floor I ripped up all the way to over to here. Cause I'm gonna be redoing that. No eggs? Hmm. No eggs. I covered up the old dodo place. But look at these. These are like... I think these must be the old... Like really old. Because I've been in this dinosaur world since... At least 1.3 Minecraft. Um, And I can't break these with... A normal axe. Like it's just so weird. I just can't. Like, it's like breaking stone. I don't understand why, either. What? I don't understand. Uh, can I break it with a sword fast? or No. Pick. Oh, yeah, pick. There we go. Look at that. Wooden slab. Yeah. So they're, they are wooden slabs. They are not oak slabs. So I've got some more of them over there too. They're really special. Really rare blocks apparently. <laughs> I destroyed some. I remember ages and ages ago in an episode. I just broke them. And someone in the comments was really upset with me. They were like, Poet, did you even realize what you had? Like that was one of the rarest... Rarest blocks. They don't catch... F they can't burn or something like that. Hmm. Can I ride you yet or anything? Is that a thing? Do I need a whip? Do I need to right click? What do I do? Hmm. Anyway. Just checking on my dinos. Is that okay? Checking on my dinos. I wanted... To build an enclosure, or at least expand the enclosure for the stegosaur. So the base of the enclosure, as I usually do, is just going to be in stone slabs. Um, I really like stone slabs. A lot of things in this park are stone slabs, look. Um, so I want to do that. Same kind of base as this, right? So the base is that, and then the top can be other blocks if I want to have it that way. But this guy is going to be growing. And... <laughs> Excuse me? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We've got a Parasaur escaping. How... How... I thought I'd tied it up. I don't... I don't have a lead or anything. What do I do? Uh... You are weird sounding. Okay, stay there for a second. And should I build it down at this level here? Which means that I would have to get rid of, like, all of this. My stegosaur enclosure. Is that what that means? That I'd have to get rid of all this? I think it, it means that, yeah. I'm just 
kind of too bad because I like the natural look of the land. But I don't, I don't really want it to be that different of a level that you have to climb up to see them. Right? Or do I? Hmm. You know what? I am going to build it up here. Up at this level. Okay? That's what I've decided just now. So I'm going to build it this way. This way. And it's going to come up to... One, two, three, four, five... Actually, that's probably right where it is. Good. There. So it'll be about that length. And come this way. It's not going to go too far. I'm thinking... Let's dig this out. Get my blocks. <laughs> That guy sounds so gross. <laughs> and then just to here. There we go. So that's going to be the size of it. And I got to get rid of some of these uh some of these trees in here now. All of these trees too. Which is, wait a minute. Oh, no. I just put the guy on there. Uh, I'll regrow some trees in here. Is that the Parasaur making that sound? Or is this the Stegosaur making that sound? I think it's the Stegosaur. I could be wrong. Okay. And then the rest is all going to be dirt. This will all be dirt. Up to there. Okay. I'm going to make this look nice. Oh, boy. Don't you run away. You stay close. I guess the leaves despawned and he just walked away. It's that easy. Okay. Okay. So now I've got the base done. The base of it done. Out of torches and I need more torches. There. I wonder, did they eat apples? Where's this? Where's this little guy? Do you eat apples? Do you want this apple? <gasps> You do? You really do? You love apples. Wow. Okay. Now I know. They love apples. Well, in that case, you know what? Come with me. Come with me, little apple guy. Um, how are we going to do this now? Come on, come on. Yeah. There we go. So this is all going to despawn. <laughs> Scared me. <laughs> Scared me so much. Where did that even... How did she... It's pretty bright in here. I thought... Oh, man. Gave me a heart attack. Okay. Oh, what? How? Did he just jump? Hmm? What is this guy? Who is this guy? I'm going to make you go down a level. I 
wonder if this guy likes apples too. Come on. Why didn't it shift click? Do you like apples? Oh, he does. Apples are a treat to herbivores. Okay. And take that. Break apart the ground here a little bit. Isn't this cool? Isn't this cool? We're almost finished already, and I've barely done anything. We get to hang out with the dinosaurs. Cool. Okay, light it up. Light it up, up, up. Let's go and do that, and that, and that, and that. I hear a zombie. He must have spawned in like right here somewhere or something. So what I'm going to do to make this look all nice is just kind of go like that. Oops. in the water taking a bath okay and then I can actually get rid of all of this up here okay I gotta get rid of this tree too I think okay there we go. Nobody can escape, right? Everybody's safe in here? Okay. Good. Perfect. Alright. So that'll be the stegosaur enclosure. It's kind of a small one. I'm going to break apart the dirt in the middle there. Um, add in some water. And if I feel like it, I might extend it backwards. I might extend it down to... Can't go very far, but it might go down to about where I'm standing right now. Give them a little bit more space. Yeah. Yeah. It and this, I'm going to just fix that. Make it look like an actual tree. Got to get up here and break some of these things so that it doesn't look ugly like that. Look at all these bad things and the thing. Logs everywhere. Keeping this thing from breaking. Am I forgetting any now? I think I got it all. I think I got it. Okay. There we go. So working on the park today like crazy. <laughs> Oh, he ate the apple. What? So wait, look at this. Look at them. Look at them running, running actually for the apple. I just threw it. I just threw it and it instantly got eaten. Like I, it, the second it left my hand, I think the stegosaur ate it. Oh my God. Oh, ha, ha I'm teasing them now with this. Run. <laughs> Catch me if you can. Oh, am I going to eat it? Am I going to eat it? Here, you have that one. You have that one. There's another one right there. There you go. There you go. Very cool. I love that they can... Uh-oh. Oh, I missed another one. Let's go up. Here we go. I think that's all now. I love that you can feed them apples, though. That is so cool. This tree might drop more apples, but I want to go now get some apples. 
I want to go find some apples that I might have. I need to draw. I need to grow like a whole tree farm just to get apples. It's not a bad idea actually, and it would give me some wood too to build with. Um, because from all those trees, I just got quite a bit. What do I have for apples? Two. Two whole apples. Well, I'll take them. I will take them. But I'm thinking of building a little tree farm somewhere. See what we can or what we can come up with with the tree farm for apples. These guys love apples. Hey. Hey. Oh, he just ate it out of my hand. Greedy. You going to eat this one out of my hand? Hmm? Hmm? Do you want it? There you go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Feeding apples to dinosaurs is the like it's like the best thing ever. <laughs> I just love it. I love feeding the little dinosaurs apples. It's such a good feeling. I wonder if the brachiosaurus can then eat apples too. Hmm. I'm going to take these saplings here. Um Oh, I got lots. The glass, the grab. Okay, we got to got to start sorting things here. Done with these for now. Start sorting. My inventory is too full. Don't need that ever. Seeds. Um, bone meal. We always get bone meal and sand. So I want some bone meal now. Let's see if we can't grow some trees. Go, 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 go. I want to build a tree farm. Not too intrusively on the park. I think I'm going to build it right over here. Somewhere. Um, could even be like right here. Let's build it right here. Although this is usually the first thing that people see when they come into the park from the outside. So I'm going to build it right here. Okay. Get rid of all these pieces of grass. And plant, 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 plant. Sound like a duck. Okay, and all these. Is this good enough? What? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. There. There we go. I'll just let that grow on its own. And soon, it'll be a nice dense patch of oak. And we'll be able to dig it up. And then get apples from literally all the leaves. But uh, obviously, this method of doing a tree farm is not going to be the most efficient for apples. Because the leaves blend in with all of them. But it will be pretty efficient for wood and stuff too. Which I do care about too. So, got to keep that in mind. That probably in the long run I care about wood more than I do apples. Get me in there. Get me in there. Mr. Mocking Cow. Mr. Mocking Cow. That's not you. Here you go. Hi, Mr. Mocking Cow. Um, do you want to get out of here? Hmm? Do you want to blow this pop stand? I'm going to make a... Make an exit way for him. He wants to leave. Go on. Come on. There you go. You're one of the smartest cows, you know? Oh. 
What's he doing? What's he going to do? Hmm? You're just happy to be out of there, I guess? <laughs> All right. Mr. Mocking Cow. Oh! Oh, I almost forgot. Completely forgot. But that reminded me. Because I immediately started to think about the Dilophosaurs. And then that reminded me of something that someone said in the comments. They noticed that there was a Smilodon on top of the Dilophosaur enclosure. Let's see if it's still there. It is. This is Biscuit. Right here. This is Biscuit. He moved. For some reason, I don't know what. He was just teleporting around me. Come on, Biscuit. So good old Biscuit needs to be in here. Sit down, would ya? There we go. So yeah, Biscuit's in here, and he's already big. Like, that didn't take any time at all. He's already a big Smilodon, which does mean, actually, that we can put the name tag on him now. Hi! So, we can put the name on him, um, which I guess I, I should do soon. Oh. Mammoth stuff. Oh! Oh! We gotta get up there and see. We gotta go see Raymond. Raymond! Raymond! How do I get up? I don't even know how to get up in my own park. I need to drop into Raymond's enclosure and get a good look at him because that updated and I didn't show you guys. People were saying that it was the ugliest looking creature before and now they're adorable. Let's get a good look at him. Look at him! Raymond! Do you even know how adorable you look? Look at his little eye. Everything about him is so adorable. Oh, wow. You're pic picture perfect, Raymond. Yeah, you are. So if I have shears, which I can't make, I need to make a door in here. I need to make a door. How do I get out? Eh, get me out. Mr. Employee, how do I get out? Um, If I get shears, I wonder if I could shear him still. I'm going to go see. We're going to test this theory out. Whoops. Well, I fell in here now. Hi, not Liam. Let's get out of here. And see if we can cheer good old friend Raymond. That'll be our goal for today. Is to figure out the shears thing. Oh, and I want to go finish that glass. So much. So much building. So much to do in this park. I need so much to do. Okay, right here, right here. Mm, shears. Got him. Running this way. I still got the water bucket. Yes, I do. I'm like, you can, can you tell I'm hurrying? I don't want to spend too much time just wasting time building and doing things. I want to do exciting things too. I want to do exciting things. Yeah, this way. This way, this way. How do I get up there? We're gonna shave you, Raymond. <laughs> Are you excited? It's a nice hot summer day. You'd feel good if with a nice shave, I think. Get that wool off you. Let's see what happens. Come here, Raymond. Come here. Oh. Oh, I can't shave him. So maybe he just hasn't grown back his wool yet from the last time I shaved him. Because his legs look pretty bare. I gotta say. His legs don't really look like they're shaved. I like how his trunk moves. That's kind of cool. And his little tusks have been fixed so that they don't... They don't have that weird sparkly effect thing that they used to have. Okay, so I can't shave him. Goal not met of the day. That's okay. That's all. That's all right. I'm gonna go this way. Down to the aquarium again, because I want to finish the glass at least. Looks like something could spawn right there. 
Oh, Dodo. Get out. Punch him one more time. See. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Yikes. Dodo, you. You, Dodo. Getting me hurt here. Okay, I'm going to punch you once. There you go. No. No. He was jumping right back in. I had to do it. I had to do it. Ah. <sighs> Man, didn't want to kill the dodo. Got to have thick glass near the aquatic creatures. Don't want them breaking out with little panes of glass. There we go. It's really not finished. <laughs> Looking at this, it's really not finished. But, okay, so what do I do? How do I do this? How do I put water where I want it to go? I want the water to go... Wait. I want all the water to go on... Top? This might be wrong. This might be wrong. But I'll soon find out, I guess. Bubbles sounds. I'll put another rack to finish it. Okay. Glass. Now bucket. Let's see if this works. Okay, and more water. And more water. Hey, here we go. Oops. What? What's going on? How come it's not doing the infinite thingy? I don't understand. Need to put water down. Put more water down. And more. And more and more and more. I guess. I guess I don't really need any of this, do I? Do I? I was thinking that I did, but I don't. No, I don't need any of this. Break. Okay. Am I underwater? I'm underwater. I'm going to drown if I don't. If I don't watch it. Get me out. Get me out. There we go. Break this. Break this. Break this. One more. One more little piece. All right. So now how do how do I get out of here? That's how. So now I'm going to do this off camera, the rest of this off camera. But that's basically how I can do this is just go from underneath and put the blocks where I need it. Like that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Almost drowned. Uh, 
it's not it's not placing right but that's okay I'll do the rest of this off camera I'll get rid of all the flowing water and stuff I'll fill this up come on let me out I'll do all the rest off camera and what that'll give us I'll have to put light in there too oh and I did forget some dirt when I do that I'll finally finally have the coelocanth enclosure the reason that this was cobble is because I wanted to do like this so I better do that now right like that I wanted all of this to be glass all the way down to there so that you can see through I like the idea of like standing here being able to see through all the glass kind of to all the different enclosures gives it a very marine look would look really cool so with that I think I'm gonna end the episode there mostly today we fed dinosaurs apples we tried to shave Raymond and we saw how he looks now he looks so adorable we freed mr. mocking cow and we built New enclosures for Coelacanth and the Stegosaur and Parasaur who got away. We also ripped up the floor. So we did a lot. We did a lot. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time in the dinosaur world. Bye-bye.